In recognition of World Cancer Day, I want to talk to you about the best strategy to be free of cancer. It is prevention. At least 40% of cancers can be prevented. A cancer diagnosis has such a profound impact emotionally and physically, not only just for the person who's diagnosed with cancer, but for the whole family. It's also an impact on our society. What are some of the things that we can do in our daily life that will reduce the chances of getting cancer? Physical inactivity is a major risk factor for cancer. Get a moderate amount of exercise, 150 minutes per week. You do 30 minutes five days a week and you will get 150 minutes. Look for ways to build exercise into your life. We need to move throughout the day, not just 30 minutes at the end of the day I've done my exercise. Moving should become second nature to all of us. Moving not only reduces the chance of cancer, it also reduces the risk of other diseases, diabetes, heart diseases, which are deadly as well. We know scientifically that eating more fruits and vegetables reduces the chance of cancer. Make sure you have at least three to four servings of fruits and vegetables every day. It doesn't need to be complicated. It doesn't need to be expensive. What we put in our lunch bag, what do we pack for our children, all counts. Include lots of vegetables and fruits as snacks for your children. Think about how you're entertaining your guests. Have fruits and vegetables as part of it. Let's think of our kitchen as the best medicine cabinet we have. And there are also certain foods we want to avoid. Reduce red meat consumption. Reduce the consumption of processed meat. There is something we can all do easily to reduce the incidence of cancer. Alcohol, certainly a risk factor for cancer. So the less we drink, the less our risk of getting cancer. We know that even moderate to small amount of alcohol consumption is a risk factor for most cancers, including breast cancer, which is the number one cancer in women. Rethink how you drink. Increasingly, there are more non-alcoholic drinks available. Alcohol is a part of our social events, but there are many innovative ways to have that joy and celebration without having alcohol. Be creative, getting exercise, moving more, eating healthy food, and reducing alcohol will all help to maintain a healthy weight, which is also a major risk factor for cancer. The number one risk for cancer is smoking. And I cannot believe we are still talking about it today. But the best thing is never to start smoking. And if you started, try to quit as soon as possible. Reach out to your healthcare provider and say, I really want to quit smoking and I need your assistance. And you could find a friend who is also doing it so that you can support each other. These behavior changes are not easy. None of us are heroes and we don't need to do it on our own. Reach out for the support you need to bring these changes in your life. 40% of cancers can be prevented. So why don't each of us commit to cancer prevention? We do it as individuals, we do it as family, we do it as a nation, and we do it globally. Invest in cancer prevention.